Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you had a very happy and healthy holiday, no matter which way you celebrate it or how you celebrate, whatever. Um, thank you for following me along on my journey. Just to recap, uh, there's a bunch of videos about my health journey the past almost one year um, on what I've been through with B12 and vitamin D deficiencies. And I want to thank everybody for taking the time to write comments or to give suggestions. I do appreciate it, but I listen to my doctor and I go by what my doctor says and I make my own informed choices about my health. I am a licensed medical massage therapist and I do have a healthcare background. So I do know about the body. Um, just a minute. Is my mom asking me a question? Uh, I don't... Um, I do have a medical background and I know about the body, I know about the systems and that's why I started this journey in the beginning to um, share my journey but to also teach others about something that I've been teaching uh, throughout my whole career as a licensed massage therapist uh, about burnout and about self-care and taking care of yourself. I do appreciate what people think I may have or your suggestions, but I'm not looking for anybody to diagnose me based on the limited information I give in these videos. Um, that I, I thank you for taking the time. Um, if you had watched my previous videos, all of my levels were normal with my thyroid and my hormones and things, so a lot of things were ruled out and I've been very meticulous about ruling things out. Anyway, so here's the update. Uh, a lot of people are giving me suggestions about like the bloating and stuff. <laughs> um, I have cancer. Uh, that's where I'm at. I was diagnosed with colon cancer a few days ago and I'm still wrapping my mind around it. I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, I'm only 46. So there are things going on and uh, most likely that's what caused my symptoms. I'm not sure about the vitamin deficiencies. I still have to ask my doctor about that. I have to follow up um, and ask him what he wants to do about my... I didn't want to get the uh, endoscopy done. I wanted to rule out H. pylori and the other things through regular testing, but now it seems like the endoscopy may be something that needs to be done just to make sure that I don't have cancer in there, in my stomach, in my small intestine and stuff. I don't know. Um, during the colonoscopy there was a very large polyp. The doctor was concerned. He said it looked normal. And uh, it turned out that to be cancer. So it was cancerous. He said it's colon cancer. I don't really have a lot more details to share yet because I had a very brief conversation with my doctor the day before Christmas Eve and I'm just still, uh, I have to go back on January 3rd and I'll ask all the questions like I always do. I'm the type of person that asks all the questions and then I'm still asking questions on my way out of the doctor's office. Uh, so that's probably what was causing my bloating and um, the fatigue. Here's something that I just wanted to share. Uh, all this time I knew something was off with my body and I kept advocating for myself and pushing for different tests and wanting to get all of my vitamin and mineral levels tested and stuff. If you feel like something is wrong with your body, please do that advocating for yourself like I did because I had people around me telling me that the bleeding from my butt was probably just a hemorrhoid. I kind of thought that too, but once I started having a lot of um, mucus and discharge I and all of the other symptoms with my vitamin deficiencies, which I never had in my life, the extreme fatigue, the bloating, I just felt like something was off and no matter like how my vitamin levels regulated. I mean, they finally regulated, but uh, and went back to normal. I just still felt really fatigued. I knew something was off with my body. And if I didn't,
keep going for these tests, I probably would not have known. And I'm not a person that necessarily loves to go to the doctor or uh, will go for tests. I'll try to get out of it. I'll talk myself out of it. I'll make it unnecessary. So the fact that uh, I, I just knew something was off and I, I got the colonoscopy, I knew I needed that because I needed to make sure everything was okay and everything was not okay. Um, if you feel like something's off with your body, follow through with that because your intuition is a very powerful thing. All this time during COVID, I have been super careful about protecting myself from getting COVID. I am vaccinated. I am boosted. And I have been pushing against a lot of people in my extended family that don't take COVID seriously uh, about trying to protect myself, especially if they come here, asking them to take other precautions and basically be, being berated and told that I'm paranoid and stuff, but I guess it was my body, my intuition somehow knew to protect myself because if I would have gotten COVID having cancer, it could have been very serious. And I continue to wear masks even before I got this diagnosis. I've been still wearing masks in public and uh, I guess it's just my survival instinct and I went through a lot of shit with my family um, doing that and being careful. So stick to, stick to your intuition, trust yourself. Uh, people have apologized to me since. And um, the other thing is, uh, what would I, what was the other thing I wanted to say? Just, uh, you know, the symptoms, yeah, the symptoms I was having for the past five, six, seven, it's got to be at least seven or eight years, just like bleeding from my butt, thinking it was a hemorrhoid, having, over the past couple of years though it's changed, I've had a lot of constipation and diarrhea, which I never had before, the bloating was new, the mucus and the discharge from my butt was new, and, um, that's where I'm at. I There's a few other things going on, but I'm not really... I'm just trying to process this first. And so that's where I'm at. I'm not going to be doing... I don't know what the next when the next update will be or if there will be one. I'm just trying to process, enjoy the holidays and time with my family. I start a new job on January 3rd. I'm going to see my doctor on January 3rd. I'm not committing myself to any kind of weekly updates. I'm just taking it as it comes and I'll update when I feel like it. Um, again, I'm not looking for any kind of um, people to, I'm not looking for anyone to tell me what I should be taking and what I should not be taking. I'm not looking for any of that kind of advice. Support is, is lovely. Support would be great. Um, I just don't want to have to explain that's not what it is. I don't want to have to go into the comments and explain or do anything like that because I just don't have the energy or the time to do it. Even though I thank people for taking their time to try to help me. Anyway, thank you. And um, yeah, that's where, I, that's where I'm at. So follow your instincts and your intuition. And if you feel like something's wrong with your body, keep pushing until you get an answer. It has taken me almost a year to get an answer as to what was wrong with my body. So, okay everybody, I wish you and yours a very happy, peaceful, healthy, and blessed New Year. Toodaloo.